Ladies and gentlemen, we have just come to the end of some European football, where a couple of German teams were in action. Uh, James, we've just finished discussing the demise of uh, Paris Saint-Germain at the hands of Bayern Munich, one of those teams. And we also got a chance to see Chelsea kind of sneak their way through against Borussia Dortmund lately as well. Stars of each of those teams, though, English stars of each of those teams is the topic for today's video. Jude Bellingham, Jamal Musiala. Now, let me just ask you straight away. You're the coach. You're the one who probably has a better eye for talent than I do, if we're being totally honest. If you're comparing these two guys, it's different positions, of course. They play for different teams. Maybe it's not the easiest thing to compare in terms of talent, because obviously, you know, some positions look different than others and people look for different things in different positions. But for you right now, if you're, you know, a team looking to sign a player, who do you think's the better player? In my eyes, it's Joao Musiala by a good distance, Jack. I look at the guy's technical ability from Jack from point of view. You give that guy the ball, three, four players around him, he'll find his way out of it. Yeah, his end product needs to improve from, from the point of view of decision making in like when to shoot, when to pass, but he's a young guy. And I, and, and, and I do believe with the with the team around him and, and, and like the coaching staff around him, he will, right, he will get that right. But just, Jack, overall what this guy has, I want you to think about what this guy did right now. He was on the field, yeah, with players like Thomas Muller, Lionel Messi, Kylian Mbappe, and was head and shoulders the best player on the field, Jack. Yeah, PSG at times struggled to get, couldn't get near him. And we're talking about how old is he? What, like 19, 20 years of age? I think Jude Bellingham is great and will be a great player but my biggest thing with you Bellingham and a lot of English players is that he's a jack of all trades but a master of nothing I can't tell you what Jude Bellingham is good at if I ask you Jack Jack what's Jude Bellingham best position some people will say maybe he's a four he's an eight he's a ten and Musiala falls in that category but I can also tell you what Musiala's best attribute is Musiala technically dribbling wise that's what's going to take him to the top while I can't point to I, I can't point to what attribute is going to take Jude Bellingham to the top. Somebody's going to say his mentality and all that sort of stuff there. I get that. But at the end of the day, when I look at, for instance, some of the best players in the world like Xavi and Iniesta, Steven Gerrard is an all-round better player than them. But their attributes, yeah, but their elite attributes were more of a bigger factor than what Steven Gerrard had. So Steven Gerrard was great at really everything. What, but like this, but the bits that they were good at is what excelled them to the top. While I look at Jude Bellingham falls into that Gerard category, and listen, if you're being compared to Steven Gerrard, you're not bad, right? You're not, I'm not, we're not saying he's bad, no, but <laughs> to the, but, but to the point of view of Xavi and Iniesta, they are controllers, and you know exactly what they're good at. I can tell you what Musial is good at with Jude Bellingham, I still can't tell you what he's good at, but people may say he's young and he can develop that. But I know at a young age. You have attributes that you're exactly that's who you are. Are you a dictator? Are you um think about it? Are you a pass? Are you a driver of the ball? I still can't I don't identify that with um with Jude Bellum. But for me, when I look at Musiala, I can tell that he's like he's this technical guy that once he gets it, he can just weave. And that excites me as a football fan. That's what gets me um off my seat. And I do believe that he has a higher ceiling overall. Um James, I tend to agree with basically everything you've said there, to be perfectly honest. Um, I do think Bellingham does have that 7 or 8 out of 10 in nearly every single aspect of football that you can look at, similar to Steven Gerrard. And I do agree with you, comparing somebody to Steven Gerrard is not a problem. I think that's a pretty good compliment in there somewhere. Um, but if we're doing the comparison to somebody like Jamal Musiala, that ability to work in short spaces, that ball control, dribbling, okay, the decision making needs work, but that's already elite. That's already, I think, you know, you're putting that in the top tens, top fives of the world, especially in his position group within that right? Is Jude Bellingham's passing top five, top 10 in the world? You know, is Jude Bellingham's ability to, um, you know, be, be an enforcer and be kind of a, a physical like ball winner type player that good? Uh, you know, there, there's lots and lots of aspects. You know, does he bring enough goals from midfield? Like every aspect of the midfield position, which keep in mind is very, very broad, 
is he top, top level in any of those things? I don't think so. The one kind of area where I do look at him and I do think he does have immense value is what I would refer to it as disruption. Um, I listened to an American podcast uh, in, in following the NFL um, and they talk about uh, this stat called the F the play up stat, right? And the idea is basically it's not tackles, it's not an interception, it's not winning a duel, it's not doing anything of that nature, right? But you do something that then affects somewhere else in the pitch. You see it happen with Bellingham all the time, all the time. Dortmund, England, you name it. If you watch Jude Bellingham play enough, not, don't watch the ball, just watch what he's doing. He will initiate a press or he will do something that will then end up with England or Dortmund having the ball. And he'll play the simple pass out wide or do something like that. But it's that aspect of his game, which to me is elite, but you can't really put your finger on it and you can't really put a stat to it. You mentioned as well, obviously, about the mental side of the game and how you know he has really, really good strength there as well. That's fine, but is that not something that Jamal Muziala can also bring to his game eventually? I look at the fact that Jamal can develop potentially more aspects of his game than Bellingham can. I still think Bellingham's the better player overall, but I think it's really, really close. And I'm scared in terms of ceiling and potential. I'm riding with Jamal Muziala, I think. Um, just mm -hmm. because I don't know if Bellingham has it in him to be a top, top passer or to be a, a top, top decision maker or doing these kinds of things. Um, I guess my phone, go ahead. My little issue with that, you mentioned the fact of being a disruptor is that let's take it into England. Yeah, you already have Declan Rice who's probably going to do that for many years and he and, he, and he's going to partner up with Declan Rice. England are going to get to a point and I've seen this on a number of occasions with England where they fail to control game. They like like they fail to retain the ball. And somebody like Jude Benham, my that night that isn't his special subject. No. And will that hold him and England back going forward? Because Jack, we've seen on many occasions with, with players like Gerard and Lampard, who are unbelievable football players. But when they go against the likes of remember when they went against the likes of Pirlo, Xavi, Iniesta, games where they needed to keep the ball, it's games where they needed players. To, you know. Let's be honest. He couldn't. And yeah. that, to me, is is what could let a player like Jude Bellingham down going forward for England and maybe in the like in the club side. As you said, Jack, great player, great boxer, box player. But in the elite level, you're looking at their ability to be a ball retainer. You look, you look at, you look at their ability to take um, their team forward mainly with the ball. And I really do question. Is can he do that at the elite, elite, elite level, Jack? The, the the only the only thing I'll say as well, football's lacking leaders, and I I think correct me if I'm wrong. I think do you, do you disagree with that statement? Have we talked about the that before? Yeah, yeah, no, 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 Jack, you're you're right. Football does lack leaders to a okay. certain point. Yes, he he has that, and that will just get better and better. Again, how much value is that going to have over the next ten years? I mean, it's all speculation at this point, but I do think. Whichever next move he gets to, whichever big club is his next move, may well be his club for the rest of his playing career. And he will probably be or become the captain of that team once he joins that team. That's huge. I don't think Jamal Mujala has that in him. And also, we have to remember as well, what's the bigger position? Is it the attacking position, which scores the goals, which creates the moments to win football matches? Or is it the midfielder, which obviously does the hard work, but it's never going to get as much glamour? I still think I'm going to ride with Jude Bellingham, but James, it is close. It is close. Jamal Mazzola is an incredibly talented kid. And you, I think you made all the right noises. In terms of his ability at the top, top level in certain aspects of his football playing, it's already up there. I don't know if Bellingham can argue the same thing. Also, let's just, let's, like, let's just talk it, because we hear a lot about Jude Bellingham. If Musiala was playing for England, Jack, would he get the same amount of praise the same amount of love that Jude Bellingham has like has gone because almost like Jack to a certain point Musiala's kind of went under the radar and we'll oh, see totally. what he's doing for oh, Jack he's starting for Bayern he's starting for Bayern Munich yeah? yeah he's not a fringe player he is one of the first names on the team sheet for one of the best teams in the world well England England of England messed up right you know we we discovered this might have right? picked the wrong one too Right. Yeah, right. England <laughs> under under 15s, England under 21s. Uh, 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 and now he's 
dominating for, for Bayern Munich and one of the best, you know, one of the up and coming best players in the world. So yeah, England, England definitely dropped the ball on that one. But James, I think if he was, you know, English and representing England, I think he'd probably get, you know, the Jaden Sancho treatment, the double digit goals, double digit assists treatment, where you're talking again, 100 million pound transfer. Where's he going to go? Is it Chelsea? Is it back to City? Is it Manchester? I think that's the level of treatment that, that, that you get. What I will say though, England have been crying out for a proper, proper wow level midfielder for a long time. No disrespect to Declan Rice. I don't think Declan Rice is that wow midfielder. I think Jude, Jude Bellingham can be. And especially with the character that he has as well, this could be the next guy that England, you know, put their hopes on. Because, you know, I'll be honest, I don't think it's somebody like, let's say, Phil Foden who, who's going to be able to do that. Um, what I will say, and this is something we definitely can agree on, these are two players which we're very excited to watch going forward. Again, oh, yes. we'll see who's proven right here or there. I think the floor for both players is very, very high. The ceiling for both players potentially very, very high as well. We're already seeing them at a top, top level. How much better can they get? Um, James, sorry, go on. I feel like the one thing for Drew Bellingham, obviously, he, he, he gets his move. Musiala ain't going anywhere anytime soon. He's no. playing for Bayern freaking Munich, who, looking at the Champions League, Jack, they are, they are one of the favourites in it. And he could be one of the spearheads to lead Bayern Munich to the Champions League at, 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 at this young age, Jack. Could you imagine what he, he can achieve? He's already guaranteed a lot of Bundesliga titles. If he has one or two Champions League to it, Jack, we're looking at it all time. Great. Well, for, for, for an ageing Thomas Muller, for a team now without Lewandowski, uh, the attacking threat has to come from somewhere. And J Jamal is, you know, he's reaching for that brass ring. So so all credit where credit's due for him oh. on that one. Um. Comment section. Let us know what you think. These are two insanely talented players. James makes a good point. Is Jude Bellingham getting a little bit of the rub of the green purely because he's English? Potentially. We can't rule that one out, right? A <laughs> little bit of a wry smile from me there. But let us know your thoughts. Who are you taking for your team? Drop a like on the video if you like what you've seen. And um, if you're not subscribed, do scroll down, double check that you are. And uh, until next time, me and James, we'll see you.